Hey guys, so today I thought that I would do a little bit more of a sit down kind of video talking to the camera. I did put a poll online on my Instagram asking if you guys would like to see uh, a top five Nintendo Switch game video or more of an about me kind of video. And it seemed pretty like split down the middle on what you guys wanted, so I thought I would do a kind of a combination of the two. So I have here a gamer tag and not like your username, but like a gamer tag set of questions. There are 16 questions here that are more about uh, the kind of games that I like and a, a little bit more about me, but also games I like. So I thought it was fitting. All right, so question number one, how long have you been gaming for? So I've been gaming since early childhood for as long as I can remember. My mom really got me into gaming as a child. And so I would say uh, probably my earliest memory of game is probably around like six, maybe even before that. What is your favorite game? That is a hard question. I have a lot of games that I really enjoy, but I would say the Silent Hill series is hands down my favorite game, specifically Silent Hill 4 The Room. Such a good game, actually genuinely a scary game, which is kind of hard to find, at least in my opinion. I just really enjoyed the aesthetic of the game. It's just very like grungy and dark. Obviously it's a Silent Hill game, so it's like bloody and gory, whatever, but it's just, it's so cool. And some of the uh, monsters and things in the game are very unique, like the, the game design itself. And I really like the main character, the whole storyline itself. It was just, in my opinion, all around a very good uh, horror game. So that is my favorite game. All right, so question number three. What is your current favorite game? So like everyone else on the planet, my f current favorite game is Animal Crossing. There's just so much to do and I like that there is updates, continuous updates throughout the year of like new stuff that you can do, different things you can collect. That game is just never ending. So it's easy to just get really lost in playing it. So that's a game I pretty much play all the time. <laughs> Question number four, what is the very first game you ever played? Okay, so I really had to sit down and think about this, but I think that the very first game that I remember playing is Super Mario. Classic of the, like, <laughs> most classic you can get as far as games. But yeah, that was the very first game that I can really recall me playing. And like I said previously, my mom was super into games. Um, you know, actually, no. Now that I think about it, my memory serves me correctly. My mom actually had a Sega and she had the original Sonic on the Sega. So actually I think that was the very first game that I played because it wasn't until later on that we got the Super Nintendo and we played the Mario games. So yeah, I would say Sonic, um, the very first Sonic and then Sonic and Tails. Those are like my very first memories of any games. So question number five is what gaming systems do you own? I have quite a few. So my main one is my gaming PC, but I also have an Xbox One. I have my Nintendo Switch and my Nintendo Switch Lite. I have my 3DS XL. I have my 2DS. I have, uh, I just recently got a DSi on eBay that I'm very excited about. And I'm also getting a DS Lite, so also very exciting. I have a 2DS and I have um, two Game Boy Colors. And I believe that that's it actually. So question number six is what gaming system is your favorite? So I would say that it is a tie between my PC and my Nintendo Switch Lite. I mostly play on those two systems. So I would say maybe my, my um, my Switch Lite would be the winner only because it's handheld and it's just easy to play so I can play it anywhere. All right, so we're getting rid of the numbers. So I'm just gonna name off the questions because I'm losing track here. All right. All right, so the next question is, do you use walkthroughs or do you play the game your own way? So I usually do a kind of a combination of the, of the two. So 
I'll play the game majority of it is my own way but if I ever get stuck on something and I just can't figure it out for the you know of course give it a good shot and if I just ultimately cannot figure it out I will look it up because I want to progress to the story I want to figure it out and move on <laughs> Have you ever been to any gaming conventions? I have not. I've never been to any kind of like cons or any kind of stuff like that. I would like to go. I think they look really fun, but I've never had the opportunity. What game are you excited about? I would say my number one game that I'm excited about is Back for Blood. It's basically another game of the Left 4 Dead series and that is so exciting to me and I cannot wait to play it. It doesn't come out until I believe the summer of this year, but oh, I, I, I cannot wait to play it. <laughs> Perfect timing. So the next question is my favorite video game memory. So I would say I have two. So my first one would be probably around when I was in middle school, I would come home and just put on uh, A Fever You Can't Sweat Out uh, by Panic at the Disco and play Silent Hill for hours, Silent Hill 4, of course. And my second memory is playing Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2 with my siblings. And it's just so much fun and I, I, it really, like I, I have such fond, fond memories of the early days of like Xbox and, you know, Xbox Live and that kind of stuff. It's just, yeah, both of those games, fantastic. So next on the list is my least favorite memory of a game. So I would say when I was a kid and I was trying to play the Lion King game on the Sega Genesis, the worst, you couldn't pass it. I could like, I believe that it's like a legend that you cannot get past or beat this game. It's so freaking hard. And specific memory is of this level where you were Simba and it's when he sings I Can't Wait to Be King, or that song. And so it has all these animals and you'd have to like jump on them and like hit them certain ways and he'd be launched over here, launched over there. And like, it was just so specific. And if you didn't get it right, you'd lose and you'd have to start all over. Ugh. That game was so frustrating. Two more questions left. I have them written down here. So that's why I'm looking over here. So um, my favorite video game genre is horror. For sure, I love horror video games. Uh, I don't play them as much these days, but I still do really enjoy them. And the last question is favorite video game villain. Left 4 Dead that I mentioned earlier, I would say that, that the infected in the Left 4 Dead series, Mike Patton does the voicing for the infected in both of the games and he is amazing, he's my favorite. Check him out if you haven't heard of him. And uh, that just makes me love him. Also, they're just, I would say some of the most unique, and I mean, maybe not so much these days, but like at the time when that game came out, you didn't have like these special infected type of characters. So it was not just your run of the mill zombie. You had like the boomer, uh, the one that spit acid, um, the witch. You have like all these different types of zombies, not just like the basic ones. So I thought that that was super cool. And then again, them being voiced by Mike Patton is just a cherry on top. <sighs> that video was really hard to film. I just, oh, uh, sometimes I have a hard time translating from my brain to my mouth and it just gets a little, <laughs> the struggle. Yeah, so that is the gamer tag. I really enjoyed answering all those questions. I thought it was really fun because it's a combination of not only hearing about the games I like and memories and all of that, but then you get to hear a little bit about me and uh, get my, uh, my personality. I will, I found the video on YouTube, so I will tag the original video down below if you want to watch it. And maybe if you want to do the tag yourself, I would be really interested to see it. So, um, I think that's about it guys. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.